My name is Greg. I'm a Lego model designer, and I've worked here for five years. I designed the Iron Man model from Avengers Endgame for San Diego Comic Con. The first step is to pose the model in a 3D software. So Marvel will give us a reference image of the rough pose they'd like to see Iron Man in, and they also provide us with a 3D model we can use in our software. Once we have the 3D model, we can then pose the character and match the pose to the reference image we are given. I'm Jeff Rushby. I'm a senior model builder in the Enfield Model Shop. I'm the lead model builder on Iron Man for San Diego Comic-Con. So the build strategy was two builders starting from feet to head and we would split the arms and the head off for uh, someone else to build. So usually when the arms are floating in space for a while before they get connected to the body, it's easier to build them separately and then attach them when it's time to attach them, then wait till we need them and start building them at that point. The coolest part of the model is gonna be the arc reactor lit up. It's an arc reactor, what do you mean? <laughs> That's what's cool about it. If you don't know the arc reactor is cool, then I don't know what to tell you. The coolest part of the Iron Man model is that he's wearing the nano gauntlet right after he snaps, so there's gonna be lights going from his hand down through his arm into his chest. So we put LED lights in the model that will represent the power or the infinity stones that are sending energy through the Iron Man's body. The most challenging part of designing Iron Man was probably incorporating the lights into the eyes, the arc reactor, and the hand because there's not much room in the model to add electronics, so you have to be very careful about the way you build the outer wall of the model. To light the model, we use transparent brick on the outside and we snake LED lights through the interior structure of the model. The lights are definitely the most challenging part of the model, just trying to get them to stay in the right spot and making sure they're actually illuminating the transparent brick, so it's a lot of trial and error. In order to keep it simple, I limited my detailed areas, which would have all the specialty elements, to just the light gray and dark gray parts of him, which are various points where you can see the arc reactors on his suit, and his eyes are transparent blue, and those are also lit from behind. It's definitely cool to have built a character as important as Iron Man to get to send a model to Comic-Con so all the fans can see and interact with it.